school IRI to the graduation ceremony of second batch of Master of Science student of Afghanistan National Agriculture Science and Technology University, Kandhar, Afghanistan. Now I invite the student of PG school IRI to present invocation song. trees for lighting the lamp.
थैंक यू सर एंड मैम नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट स्टूडेंट ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्कूल टू काइंडली प्रेजेंट द बुक ऑफ फ्लावर टू डॉक्टर टी महापात्रा डेयर एंड डी जी आई सी आर एंड चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ टू डेज फंक्शन I again request to present a bouquet of flowers to Ms. Namgya Khampa, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Please present a bouquet of flowers to Dr. Khal Muhammad, uh, MSZ Chancellor, Anastu. I again request the student to present a flower to Dr. A. K. Singh, Director IRI. With the permission of Chair, now I now request uh, Director IRI to kindly give a formal welcome address. Honorable Secretary, dear and DG ICR, Chief Guest of today's function, respected Dr. Dilojan Mahapatra ji, Miss Namgya Khamka, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Dr. Khal Muhammad Ahmed Jai, Chancellor Anastu Kandar, Afghanistan. प्रोफेसर अनुपम वर्मा एडवाइजर अनास्तु डॉक्टर आर के जैन डीन आई वी हैव डॉक्टर कुलदीप सिंह डायरेक्टर एन बी पी जी आर डॉक्टर जे पी शर्मा ज्वाइंट डायरेक्टर एक्सटेंशन एंड रिसर्च आई आर आई एंड मेनी ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द रिविजन्स फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स एट द आउटसेट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ my own self i welcome respected dr tulushan mahapatra ji who is the chief guest of today's function sir your presence today is a testimony of your priority for human resource development and competence building within the country and outside this is one program with which you have been associated since long similarly we are running another program with myanmar through a care program there also and this program in particular your focus has been all the time to support the educational program and link it with other programs of icr we also welcome ms nangya kampa joint secretary ministry of external affairs to this function her presence today suggests her deep concern for the offshore programs in general and this anastu program in the particular and i am pretty sure that your support has been so good and it will continue to be there to strengthen this program we feel honored to welcome dr khal mohammad ahmed jai chancellor anastu kandhar his presence with mr Asmat Nabi Hotki, an Astu University Operations Coordinator, in the function today, shows that he is quite concerned with this program, and you are coming second time. We heartily welcome you at IRI campus. I also welcome Professor Anupam Barma, who is advisor and who has been very efficiently looking after this program. and iri always feels proud to get associated with anastu through you and we find lot of interactions coming forth and the wisdom which you have it's going to the program all the time i also take the opportunity to welcome dr rk jain dean iri uh, who has been very closely watching this program with his team of experts here at iri 
and has been deputing faculty and all the head of the divisions which are concerned for this one. Today, there are many people who are quite distinguished one who are associated with this program, but in particular, Dr. V. K. Singh, head of the division agronomy, uh, who has been uh, uh, looking after this program and involving his faculty, people have been going there, and the students have been coming here to get the courses educated through different kinds of programs in the campus. Dr. J. P. Sharma, Sri K. C. Joshi, all are welcome here, including the dear students who are going to get transcripts today. There are 18 students of MSc Agronomy from Anastu, Afghanistan, who are receiving their MSc transcripts today. I am sure the participants have been immensely benefited at the institute. You are now IRI alumni. You are now charged with the responsibility of building a strong knowledge base in your country and also have a, a dual role of playing as an ambassador for building relations with India in, in future course of time. There may be many areas, this is one beginning probably which will carry the flag and will be able to take up many programs in our country and in your country also. I assure you, we shall continue to nurture the relationship between two countries and I hope that you, being the true ambassador of IRI also, will be able to take the signs what IRI has been aspiring with its long research programs and educational achievements. IRI being one of the premier institutions always feels pride to get associated with the outside institutions and the countries who are keen to work in the field of agricultural research and education and I am sure with today's function and uh, with the presence of our Honorable Secretary there and DGICR, the Joint Secretary and the Chancellor from Anasto will get the enough wisdom to further work together and build the relationship and build the relationship for strengthening our research and education program. So thank you very much. Welcome all of you once more. Thank you so much, sir. May I now request Professor Anupam Verma to kindly brief on human resource development. The Honorable Chief Guests of the function, Dr. Tirulatan Mahapataji, Ms. Namgya Khampa Ji, Dr. Khal Mohammad Ahmad Zai, Dr. A.K. Singh, Dr. I.R.I., Dr. R.K. Jain, Dean, I.R.I., Dr. J.P. Sharma Ji, uh, J.D. Extension, I.R.I., Mr. Bhavesh Tevedi uh, from the MEA, Director, is Director in MEA and responsible for the project for us. Mr. Asmat Nabi Hotaki, uh, he is the coordinator. Uh, I would like to name all of them who are sitting here because all of you have contributed immerse, immensely to this program of Anastu. Hmm? But time does not allow me to do so. So distinguished faculty, uh, members of uh, PG School IRI, I just don't say IRI because I, don't, I also find other units of PG School. Dear students of IRI, how many of you are for doing PhD from Afghanistan? Can you raise your hands? Only three? Okay, welcome. Uh, dear students of Anastu who are graduating today, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, my heartiest congratulations to the second batch of students hmm, for graduating today and completing your program very well. I'll come back to that. Let me first briefly, because some of you might not have uh, heard about Anastu before, let me tell you very briefly uh, the landmarks uh, in this program. Mm -hmm. The first action was taken by the MEA mm -hmm. in 2012 by establishing a task force under the chairmanship of Professor M. Swaminathan, 
and that started looking into the program. The second landmark is February 15, 2014, when the Anastu was inaugurated by the then President of Afghanistan in Kandahar. And on that day, one of our professors, Dr. Behra, delivered the inaugural lecture uh, at that time and then the students were brought in here. So I am not going to details because uh, again the time constraints. But this is a remarkable event for Afghanistan as well as for us because Anastu is the first agriculture university of Afghanistan. And that reminds us of the first agriculture university of India which was established in 1960. The difference is that when we have established the Pantnagar University in 1960, we had the assistance of United States and other universities also came in. And perhaps many of you may not know that it was after incubation of 10 years and I say that 10 years or more because when Nehru went there in 1954, I was a young student of college waving flags. At that time the land was transferred, so actual university came in 60. But Anastu is remarkable because the land was given in 2014 uh, and it was act not 2014, 2013 and it was inaugurated without any incubation period in 2014. So we had for our university an incubation period of about 6-7 years hmm, and here it starts now. So actually you are going through the incubation period uh, uh, Mr. Chancellor uh, of Anastu. So the next landmark was the graduation of first batch of MSc Agronomy of Anastu hmm, in 2016. Within a matter of short span you could graduate, I think that I could not find any parallel of such an achievement anywhere in the world. It's not just question here. So my congratulations to Anastu for getting that done. Many of those students are actually now doing PhD. Some are in IRI and some have gone to other countries. The next landmark is today when we are uh, second batch is graduating. And I would like to say that you know they have done very well. In fact, uh, you know, already a mention has been made for the good work which you have done. And I must congratulate you that average OGPA of the students is more than 8. So you can imagine that how well they must have performed. Hmm? Uh, this is because of the dedication which they showed, concentration in their studies and what are the program which has been developed for them. Apart from that they have done research on varied crops, soybean, wheat, uh, mung bean, maize, and I had the chance of looking into the data which these people have produced. I am sure this will be verified by Anastu. And that data shows that the productivity of these crops, other crops, I have just listed forward here, will improve at least twofold if only their result is taken into account. And I say that another achievement hmm, for all the students who have done their good work. And I'm sure they'll follow it up. And they are busy in writing papers. Hmm. And some of the manuscripts I have seen. Thank you very much for sharing that. Hmm. I'm sure you will get good publications out of it. So what next? Uh, just I can say it's right from hot from the oven. Hmm? that the third batch will is come here in November this year. That is MSc Agronomy third batch. 
We'll give you actual date later, Mr. Hotake. Hmm? I know you are looking for that. We are also establishing tele-education facility. We have the tele-education people here, so we are hopeful that that will also start this year. We also hope to start the first stakeholders meeting for the establishment of a genetic garden of Afghanistan in Anastu. And that, so madam, is a very important uh, development because Anastu has already put landmarks for it. Hmm? And this task force meeting will determine the future course of action so that it becomes a self-sustaining activity there. In 2019, new courses are going to start, three new courses, hmm? as per the approvals at the moment. One is in horticulture, and there is plant protection, and in animal husbandry, which will be done at IVRI. I must say, I missed a landmark, very important landmark in between, the moment IVRI name came. In April 2016, under the direction of uh, Dr. Mahapatraji, hmm, one MOU was signed between Anastu and ICR, hmm, which provides for academic contribution, unlimited academic contribution of ICR. So it's all ICR Institute, the MOU is between ICR and Anastu. So there have been lots of challenges which have been overcome, which uh, uh, Dr. V.K. Singh and his associates know very well. Hmm? I will give you just one challenge which we are not able to overcome and that is to send chemicals to Afghanistan, a distance of only 500 plus kilometers hmm? because neither the air nor the surface rate and we are still working on it. Hmm? So this is one challenge which madam we have to overcome because in Afghanistan chemicals are not available. And if chemicals are not available, research cannot be done there. So that's one of the challenge. Another challenge which is there is that I've said, you know, it's a remarkable achievement. The first batch in two years or two years, few months. The second batch another two years, few months. What we need to do is to have a batch every year hmm, to maintain the academic year regularity. And that's a challenge which we have to find ways of doing it. We also need to develop a timeline hmm, for Anastu and determine a date when Anastu will become self-sustaining. The only requirement there is that they have to have faculty with PhDs. I am happy the faculties for agronomy have come, but there is need for faculty for PhDs in all the subjects which you plan to do. In this, I would like to also inform you that, uh, in fact, Dr. Mahapatraji, when uh, uh, the Chancellor met him last year, I hope you remember Dr. Mahapatraji, uh, 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 meeting with him in 2017, last year, and he promised 10 slots of fellowships hmm, for Anastu. And all those 10 slots were filled up, two could not join, so we'll pass on those slots to uh, other other members. That has been a great help. This is just to give you a brief, uh, you know, what is happening. Hmm? Um, but I have a long list of thanks to say, although it's not a thanks uh, taking away from Dr. Jan, which is going to come later. First of all, Dr. M. Swaminathan, hmm? uh, his guidance. I received a mail from him uh, asking me to congratulate Anastu and all these students for graduating today. He has been in constant touch as to what progress is being done. He is the chairman of the task force. Then I would like to thank the DGs because it has not been easy to get things moving. Initially Dr. Airpan, but then Dr. Mahapatra. Yeah, I don't want to say, but uh, the way the things could move, it would not have been possible if we did not have the direction and support from them. Then our directors, Dr. H. S. Gupta initially when the program started uh, and then now Dr. A. K. Singh and uh, yeah, 
he doesn't then mention it's always yes from his side for whatever is being done for Nasku. Thank you very much, uh, you know, Dr. Singh, for this. Dean Dr. R.K. Jain, he is actually the main person that, who is getting forward. Every moment of the program, program could not have moved before without Dr. Jain. Uh, Dr. Uh, sorry, Ms. Namgya Khampa, yeah, she has come to the program or this position recently, but uh, she has been very positive and helping. She has had a meeting in Kabul yeah, in which uh, the program was discussed. I was shared the information yesterday hmm, uh, uh, that what decisions have been taken and uh, those decisions will be great help to the program undoubtedly. So thank you very much, ma'am. Then I would like to thank uh, Dr. Mr. Bhavesh Tevedi ji, the director, uh, MEA. Bhavesh ji, I hand raised career just to look after Dek Sakhe. He is the silent mover hmm, of the program. And he has been helping the program for, you know, as long as I know, uh, uh, or my association with the program. Thank you very much. And we hope to uh, receive your uh, help hmm, and directions all the time. Uh, I would also like to thank Dr. Vinod Singh and Dr. Shive. Yeah, Dr. Shive has been taking the main burden of all the academic activities of the program in agronomy and your colleagues, Dr. Shive. I don't find many of them here. I, I was hoping that... Uh, uh, are you here? Very few. Very few. Uh, my list is very long. Anyway, thank you very much to you and also convey thanks to your colleagues you know, for good work which has been done. Uh, all the progress which I have said could not have been done without you. Dr. B. S. Devedi and his colleagues. Hmm? Swail, the understanding of Swiles of these students and the practicals which they have done in Swiles, I am sure that will be very useful for them in the long run. I would also like to thank uh, Dr. Rajan Prasad. Dr. Rajan Prasad has not come with statistics. Uh, he, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, okay. Uh, but I would like to mention uh, especially to Dr. Mahapataji that, you know, the classes which have been taken in statistics in a very short three-week course, hmm, the grinding has been thorough, which has been a great help to the students, isn't it? Uh, clap for my, uh, Dr. Rajan Prasad. Yes. You must know to thank people who have been helping you, isn't it? Then I would also like to thank uh, people who have done the hard work which is very difficult to do. Manoj Khanna and his uh, colleagues in getting those uh, farm implements, hmm? getting them, purchasing them, procuring and transporting them. Uh, he has been a great help. Hmm? Uh, I would also like to thank uh, other professors who have worked for the future course to come. Dr. Viren Bernwal. Raise your hands, please, Dr. Bernwal. Hmm? He helped uh, in development courses for plant protection. Uh, Dr. Bera, Professor of Vegetables. I do not know whether he is here for horticulture. Dr. Anil Sirohi for nematology and Dr. R.K. Singh, of course he is not here, Director IVRI for Animal Sciences. These are the three new areas which are going to emerge. And then I would also like to thank the colleagues in the directorate and PG school and at the PMU, uh, the little section, uh, Katoch uh, is here and uh, all your help, uh, thank you very much for doing that. This I am doing thanks from my side. Hmm? So with this I end and I congratulate heartily all the students who are graduating now and wish you great success. Thank you very much. You, you know the message which I gave you earlier that you have to revive the glory of Afghanistan agriculture and that you will do and that you have promised. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Now a request. Dr. Khal Muhammad Amazai, Chancellor Anastu Kandhar, Afghanistan, to kindly give the remark. Uh, 
our chief guest today, Dr. Trulichant Mahapatra, Honorable Joint Secretary, Ms. Uh, Namgya Kampa, uh, Director I IRI, Mr. A.K. Singh, uh, Dean IRI, Di uh, Dr. R.K. Jain, Coordinator of uh, Professor Anupam Varma, Coordinator of Anasto Asmat Nabi, Member of Academic Community, Member of Press, <coughs> Graduates, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today is a very special day. Our students are graduating here today. And you have come here to support them. On behalf of them, I thank you. And on behalf of the university, thank you too. Because we support our students, you are also supporting us. It's a great pleasure that I, I welcome you all to our second graduation ceremony. This is a historical occasion of being the second most important landmark occasion in the history of Anasto. May I therefore take this opportunity to congratulate all the graduates of the second batch of MS Agronomy for com uh, completing their successfully. I would like to also congratulate all the guardians, teachers, and everyone else who in one way or the other contributed to your success. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy that we have a student from all parts of Afghanistan in this August congregation. Among the 19 students enrolled for the second batch of MS Agronomy, 18 will graduate today. Because Mr. Abdul Hamid is not here with us today, he passed away on January 24, 2018 after a long struggle with illness. He was an individual with great soul and a true uh, servant of the country, serving as a lecturer at Kandahar University. We have also lost one of the brightest young leader in Afghanistan, the former Deputy, Deputy Governor of Kandahar, Mr. Abdul Ali Shamsi, who, was had, who had graced the first graduation ceremony of Anasto with his presence in words of wisdom two years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our national and, govern, uh, and provincial uh, government, the government of India, the Indian Council for Agricultural Research, ICAR, CG in Kandahar, the Indian Agricultural Research Institute, IRI, uh, local partners and our friends for their dedicated supports. I also thank the University Council and its committees, the Vice Chancellor and Senior manage Management staff and students for growing the University from the time it was chartered in February 2014 till, till today. I wish to assure the founder of Afghanistan National Agriculture Science and Technology University that Anasto is in a good standing as uh, uh, evidenced by recently getting approval from Ministry of Higher Education to establish three new departments, namely horticulture, plant protection, and animal husbandry. To this end, I appreciate the uh, sustained interest by the government of India and the Ministry of Higher Education Afghanistan for this university as it's mature. The university has a strong foundation to successfully implement its strategic plan for transforming Anasu into an excellent institution engaged in contributing to the development of our nation and beyond. We are very fortunate to be associated with ICAR and IRI. In this association's 
indeed adds a great value to the MS course of Anastu because IRS being one of the premier agricultural research institutions in India. I wish to have your support in future as well. As we embark on starting the new degree program in associations with IRI in IVRI. At this stage, I wish thanks Professor Anupam Warma, advisor Anastu program for the solid support given since the inception of this university. I would also like to acknowledge the contribution of wise dignitaries of MEA India. In the final words, I would like to say that the Afghan economy has always been agriculture, despite the fact that, that only 12% of its total land is arable land. From that, 6% is currently cultivated. Agriculture production is constrained by an almost total dependence on erratic winter snows in spring rain for water. It is therefore essential that funding from the government of Afghanistan and government of India continues to help transform this sector and Anastu especially. I hope you will wish to continue to support Anastu in many different ways and I shall look forward to meeting you at event as such. Once again, I congratulate you all and wish you the very best in your endeavors. Much as expected of you, I have every confidence that each and every one of you will excel in your chosen path. Be good rule, mothers of Anasu. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your remarks. May I now invite Ms. Namgya Khampa, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, to kindly give the remark. Dr. Trilochan Mahapatra, Secretary, Department of Agricultural Research and Education and Director General of ICAR. Dr. Khal Mohammed Ahmed Zai, Chancellor of Afghanistan National Agricultural Sciences and Technology University, Anastu. Dr. A.K. Singh, Director of IARI. Dr. R.K. Jain, Dean of IARI. And Professor Anupam Barma, Advisor of the Anastu Program. Faculty members, students, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear friends from Afghanistan, good afternoon. I thank IARI for inviting me to attend this ceremony that marks the graduation of this batch of 18 Master of Science students uh, of Anastu. I extend my heartiest congratulations to the graduating students. Today is another important milestone in the nascent journey of Anastu as an institution for agricultural research and training in Afghanistan. The Government of India is proud to be associated with its founding and establishment as the first of its kind agricultural research institution in Afghanistan. As many of you are aware, the genesis goes back to exchanges and discussions between IARI and stakeholders in Afghanistan in 2012 that gave concrete shape to the idea of setting up uh, this university in Nastu and a task force under the chairmanship of eminent scientist Professor M. S. Swaminathan was constituted, as Professor Verma pointed out, in 2013 to guide the implementation of this initiative. The Ministry of External Affairs has collaborated with the Department of Agricultural Research and Education and the IARI, as well as the Government of Afghanistan, to translate this initial idea into reality. Today, the second batch of scholars have completed their training in India and are graduating, and the students of the first batch that graduated in June 2016 did so after eight months of training. I'm happy to share that the Ministry of External Affairs is also in the process of extending funding support for the third batch of scholars to come to India shortly for their on-site training at IARI. In addition to capacity building and equipment supplies, we are also looking at other measures to support the development and growth of ANASTU 
including tele-education facility at Anastu, as was mentioned earlier. The cooperation between India and Afghanistan for supporting the growth of Anastu is an integral part of our development assistance to Afghanistan. India regards bilateral development cooperation as a key pillar of the close and strategic partnership between our two countries. Afghanistan is a close friend of India. We are committed to partner the people and government of Afghanistan in their nation-building journey to pursue a secure, peaceful and prosperous country. Under the ambitious bilateral new development partnership framework announced last year uh, and India's commitment of two billion US dollars in bilateral development assistance to Afghanistan, we will continue to undertake projects that contribute to the social, economic, infrastructure and human resource development of Afghanistan and its people. Capacity, build, capacity building is a key pillar of our development outreach to Afghanistan. At present, over 2,600 scholarships are offered to Afghan students annually, including 614 agricultural fellowships. Anastu is a concrete example of the potential and possibilities in agricultural cooperation between the two countries. In closing, I am delighted to see our joint effort and the hard work of students and faculty members both here at IARI as well as in Anastu bear fruit today with this graduation ceremony. I assure you of the Ministry of External Affairs full support in the development of Anastu as an institution of excellence in Afghanistan and we look forward to many more milestones in this journey of Anastu. I wish the students graduating today every success in your new endeavors and I hope that all of you will be torchbearers for the cooperation and friendship between our two great countries. I also take this opportunity to thank IARI and the Department of Agricultural Research and Education for their unstinting support and cooperation to this program. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now I request Tukati Mahapatra, Secretary Dre and DG ICR and Chief Guest of today's function to kindly distribute a transcript to the student of Anastu. So I'll, I want to call the first student that is Firoz Baba Zoe. Firoz Baba Zoe. Shafiqullah Bahadari Shafiqullah Bahadari <coughs> Khalil Rahman Balakzai Khalil Rahman Balakzai Mohammad Hashem Danish Mohammad Hashem Danish Mohammad Ali Manandoi Mohammad Ali Manandoi Sayyid Hamidullah Muzaffari <coughs> Sayyid Hamidullah Muzaffari Hulam <coughs> Habib Nuri Hulam <coughs> Habib Nuri Yama Nuri Yama Nuri <laughs> eh 
एहसान पश्तून एहसान पश्तून मोहम्मद फिरोज सरवरी मोहम्मद फिरोज सरवरी अब्दुल बारी शमसी अब्दुल बारी शमसी राज मोहम्मद सटोरी राज मोहम्मद सटोरी मोहम्मद खान वसीफी मोहम्मद खान वसीफी बरहनुद्दीन विकार बरहनुद्दीन विकार फिदा मोहम्मद जकी फिदा मोहम्मद जकी खलीलुल्ला जीरियल now I, i would like to call the best student of anastu for overall outstanding performance mr muntaz baryal thank you so much dignitary thank you so much now i request our chief guest of today's function to get team mahapatra for the chief guest address very good afternoon to everyone present in this hall ms namgya kampa joint secretary ministry of external affairs government of india dr khal mohammad amjai chancellor anastu dr ak singh Deputy Director General Agricultural Extension Indian Council of Agriculture and Research and Director and Vice Chancellor of the prestigious Indian Agriculture Research Institute Dr R K Jain Dean and Joint Director Education Indian Agricultural Research Institute many dignitaries of the dais the directors of other icr institutes and also the representative from the external affairs ministry of government of india also afghanistan and other agencies who are present here today 
the staff and students of the Indian Agriculture Research Institute and most importantly the students who are going to receive, who had already received degrees after their two years of study in the area of agronomy. Students of Anastu and let us give them a big hand for their successful completion of study culminating in receiving degrees today. And we had this program earlier for the first batch and today we are extremely happy to see that the second batch has completed the process, the coursework, the research, thesis writing and uh, all the aspects and uh, 18 of them receiving degree, unfortunately one passing away and we are extremely sorry for him. This is uh, something which is uh, painful, a youngster is a prime age to aspire for good things in life and also do something for the country and he has been snatched away and we deeply mourn he is passing away and also at the same time we in India as it was said stand solidly behind Afghanistan, the government of Afghanistan to fight against uh, terrorism and other forms of unwanted activities which not only destabilizes Afghanistan but also the region. Afghanistan has been very close to the heart of India. We have been friends, we, had ex we have excellent relationships and that relationships would continue. Anastu is a bright example of our working together is a successful venture in the direction of building agriculture in Afghanistan. Afghanistan has a plenty of opportunities and potential to build its agriculture, sustain itself with regard to food and also nutritional security which are of prime concern and given the challenges that we are facing in Afghanistan and in the region, India stands solidly behind rather by the side of Afghanistan to take the course forward and this is what Honorable M. S. Swaminathan has been talking about for pretty long time. And thanks to the Ministry of External Affairs, Ms. Kampa is here today and earlier her colleagues and also the Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs for in fact being a very solid uh, partner in building this relationship without support of uh, MEA and approval of MEA, such relationship cannot be built. And obviously, the Ministry of External Affairs, the current leadership as well as the earlier leadership 
with their farsightedness they have supported this program and enabled us the department of agriculture research and education the indian council of agriculture research and also the indian agricultural research institute to go ahead with the program and help afghanistan in the process so this uh, success is being replicated elsewhere as it was mentioned in myanmar in the form of uh, an advanced center for agriculture research and education which uh, is another example of a success and how joining hands between departments in the country are also working hand in glove hand in hand with rather hand in hand with other foreign governments to make things happen and if you if one visits akare today and looks at the way the capacity building is happening there our faculty going there and teaching students and that reminds us that uh, the india's uh, kind of uh, fight with food insecurity and how we have been able to address and india's problems with the human resource in 1950s and 60s and as professor verma was talking about india seeking support of the united states of america to build universities here while we go back in time in our task of building this relationship and then infrastructure and human resource in afghanistan and myanmar we are also replicating the same story there so that they also come up our story of success in the field of agriculture today dates back to those days while we are taking support from elsewhere and building our own resources building our own capacity and today india is not only self sufficient to feed 1.3 billion plus population but also exporting so we believe very strongly that this support that we are providing to build capacities in myanmar and afghanistan and afghanistan today very elaborately and eloquently and that would certainly indicates would uh, make afghanistan self sufficient and self reliant in terms of everything that they need in the area of agriculture and animal husbandry and allied sectors but also support even other countries who would be lagging behind as in the as it is as the india is doing today i congratulate those who have received degrees today this is hard earned degree the indian agricultural research institute which set its journey in the year 1905 more than 100 years is known for its education program not only in the country but also globally the quality of human resource which is developed at this particular institution is recognized is appreciated and they not only are contributing to build agricultural research education and extension in the country but also immensely contributing to global agriculture research and development through the cg centers the cgiar centers where the indian experts are 
immensely contributing to development of technologies. Also in the food and agriculture organization system, the FAO system, the World Bank and also in other countries. So that is the kind of contribution of this institution and anyone coming here and receiving degrees from this institution and getting trained and getting exposed to the expertise available in this institution is a matter of great pride and also a great privilege. There is a great deal of competition to come to this institution in India. The best of talents and you can imagine that about close to 200,000 candidates compete to get into, into this institution to de, do their degrees. I am talking of the total students who write the exams and in a particular department like agronomy at the most 5 to 6 maximum 10 students get entry in one particular year to do master's degree. It is a cutthroat competition to get entry into this institution to get degrees. And also those who enter there, they have assured future wherever they go, whether it is research, whether they go for civil service in the form of administrative service, police service, revenue service and so on and so forth of government of India or they go for other modes and models which are available in this country. They are the ones who come at the top. So that is the kind of quality, name, stature associated with this premier organization. And that is the reason why I say that you are fortunate to be a part of this legacy, part of this rich tradition because here, here is the institution where every year in the month of February the convocation happens and that is happening without any deviation. And Professor Anupam Burma uh, also has been part of this tradition, rich tradition who has preserved this and also now guiding and helping, advising how Anastu can come up and how students of Anastu can become part of this rich tradition that this institute takes pride in. So, this is what uh, you know uh, makes us so happy today. It is a great pleasure to be here and uh, at the same time I must mention the forward looking attitude of the government of Afghanistan. Because you can't do if the other hand does not come forward, you can't shake hands and that is the best part of it the government of Afghanistan has come forward to shake hands, to stay together, join hands and build and actually provide us opportunity to help and that is the great thing and we appreciate the government of Afghanistan and uh, we thank that this opportunity has been given to us to do whatever possible on our part. And thanks to Chancellor, the previous and the current, those who have been responsible for making this happen, the 21 earlier receiving degrees and 18 today and this is a great moment. 
a satisfying moment. So obviously, when we together teaching, guiding research and building this human resource, we have great expectation from this, both countries. And this expectation is that Afghanistan's agricultural future is built and built in your own hands and you demonstrate how you can have a successful agriculturally rich and successful Afghanistan tomorrow. And that's the kind of responsibility, that's the kind of responsibility you are charged with, with this degree which was handed over to you today. And I very strongly believe that while you will be going back to your own country, you, you will be very effectively utilizing the knowledge that you have gained during this course of two years period. And that should help your country immensely. And that also help, in fact, rebuild and re strengthen our own relationship that, we ha that has been built. And in the process, India and the Indian Council of Agriculture Research and the two departments who have joined hands would certainly be going extra miles to provide further support and information, knowledge and backstopping whatever way possible to do whatever you want to do for your country so that Afghanistan's agriculture flourishes. I was talking about the challenges, time is limiting, I have already taken time. The challenges in terms of the ecology that we have. In this country we also have similar kind of ecology in certain parts. Exactly identical it may not be. But certainly our experience in dealing with similar kind of ecology would certainly help Afghanistan. We have been able to build human resource in agronomy and certainly Afghanistan's ecology requires human resource in the field of horticulture which has tremendous scope in Afghanistan. And similarly, animal husbandry, Afghanistan again has a tremendous opportunity and potential in the field of animal husbandry. And when you deal with crops, certainly crop protection is another important component. Given the climate change, given the new emergence of new races of the pathogen, and organisms which are, which are having devastating effects on crops emerging very fast and how do we deal with them. So while discussing in our previous meetings, we chose these three additional subjects very carefully so that while building Afghanistan's agriculture, we must build capacity in these areas. Otherwise, it would not be a complete story and we would be still lagging behind despite having agronomists. Agronomists are supposed to know all aspects at least little bit and that is the reason why first focus was on agronomy. But I believe in this area, era of specialization and the kind of uh, complexity of the issues, the dimension of problems that the world agriculture and Afghanistan's agriculture in particular are facing. So these areas are, are required to be focused on and emphasized upon and we need to build human resource. And at the same time mention was made that the Afghanistan's biodiversity needs also to be preserved and conserved. In that ecological niche, the kind of a diversity that flourishes 
in our mad rush in the direction of developing agriculture we should not be losing them not only just preserve them conserve them for future as a rich legacy we should also be evaluating them and utilizing them for afghanistan's agriculture if we say a successful afghanistan agriculture for tomorrow this biodiversity will be the driver of it and how do we actually conserve and utilize and use that as a resource to inform and educate not only the scientists and faculty but also public and students at large and that requires a special effort which has been already described so i believe that these are the kind of areas which need to be actually focused on and supported which are under consideration as we go along we would be certainly moving in that direction teaching has been a constraint we have been going our faculty has been visiting myanmar and providing teaching and imparting teaching there to the students and at a time three or four even five faculty members staying there for more than a month and doing theory and practical exams being conducted and doing everything but that is a constraint with regard to afghanistan so obviously tell it teaching and using all information communication technology tools that are available today and how do we actually make use of that's another area needs emphasis and i'm sure quickly will move in that direction very fast and while we doing we we are doing so when the next batch comes which we have decided that they will be coming we will certainly expand to other areas and aspects which will take some time but which is important that this continued effort of building human resource and building in fact the capacity there itself with more of phd because msc is the starting point for the search what is required is more number of phd in different subjects and that area requires quite a bit of elaboration and focus so i am told some are here students and large number of students and they are coming here are being supported by mea and i strongly believe that we should be able to attract more of phd particularly the faculty who can come here and spend time and again do part of research there and partly here and we should be able to actually stand them because it's a longer period learning process in fact gets further strengthen become is more enriched and that would actually help afghanistan and they themselves can actually internally build capacities as they when they go back and that would be actually greater focus would be required in future in that particular area so without going further i believe uh, many colleagues dr burma has already thanked many and actually my duty is profusely thank him because uh, when i was director of this institute and there were some bottlenecks and we were discussing how to really circumvent them and move faster and that is what we used to discuss so that culminated into signing of mou and that happened when i moved to the krishi bhavan and which was initiated that time when i was here and also more importantly the kind of support we got from mea mr ravesh has been 
a constant person there that time as well as now. Thanks, Bhavis, for you are the second person who should be thanked actually profusely in addition to Professor Burma uh, on my side because you have been in all meetings and every time you are there. Certainly, you can't operate unless you have the higher ops supporting you and everyone who have been there. And uh, previously, what is his name, Joint Secretary, who is now uh, Subha Rao, who is Subha Raidu. And he is now in Africa, the other day he came, he is a uh, high commissioner somewhere, he is ambassador, uh, Peru. Peru. So, he came the other day, uh, Mr. Subha Raidu. So, he was also very supportive of the program and uh, also now we have uh, Ms. Kampa, uh, you know, the other day we discussed and they talk about the Akare program. A Myanmar program and uh, she also is providing support and uh, also in the previous program we had Mr. Sinha in the uh, 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 secretary, uh, formerly ambassador. So, so he was also highly supportive for this uh, program and uh, so this is uh, from my side from the Department of Agriculture Research and Education I place on record that this is, uh, you know, always we keep talking about the uh, uh, collaboration between departments. And here is one collaboration between two departments of Government of India, which is a very successful collaborative model that we have built. And uh, this must be actually elaborately reported, recorded, documented appropriately and that we should go and then plan it out how do we take it further. But I believe that uh, you know this model and uh, the other day when Mr. Jaisankar was there I, I did uh, discuss with him once and also in one of the programs I had a discussion with Mr. Gokhale and uh, you know I have written also regarding many other kind of things which we are engaged with uh, you know uh, uh, external affairs uh, support is very essential and in particularly Africa program and uh, uh, I, I uh, believe that those programs will also be strengthened as we go along and uh, uh, this coming to uh, the last part I always uh, uh, count on uh, students uh, I taught here at this institute for 20 years and uh, I know this value and strength of good uh, teaching and good learning in the process and that is such a big strength and, uh, uh, and I wish all of you uh, all the very best. The knowledge that you have gained will be immensely utilized by you in your country and uh, uh, once you stand up you have your own roots and certainly Afghanistan will gain immensely and uh, uh, all of you I wish a very bright future and uh, stay tuned, stay connected and stay blessed and uh, wish you all a very long, happy life, personal life, family life and also in a country where the agriculture is flourishing, your future is also should flourish and you go happily in that direction and build your own future and your own career while building Afghanistan's agriculture. And I thank all the faculty who have contributed so much in building their future, mainly making coursework, taking rigorously the classes, guiding them and then helping them to write their thesis and to come up to this stage. And thanks to everyone and ultimately thank to Dr. R.K. Chain on my own behalf and Dr. A.K. Singh, Director IRI for making this happen. And thanks a lot, my dear colleagues and friends who are present here. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Azmat Hotake, coordinator and ask you for appreciation later distribution. Good afternoon everyone. On behalf of Anasto, Dr. Khal Mohammad Amazai, Chancellor Anasto would like to present a token of appreciation to the dignitaries on the dais, 
in recognition of their valuable contributions rendered in support of the second batch of MSc Agronomy of Anasto. First, I would like to request Dr. Trilochan Mahapatra, Director ICR, to come to forward and get his uh, token of appreciation from Dr. Khalmamad Ahmadzai.